<coughs> Captain's log. Captain's log. C -c -c Captain's log. Testing, testing, testing. Ah, Captain's log. Captain's log. Captain's log. Oh. Oh, God, this coffee tastes like shit. Oh. Whew, I need to stop putting the LSD in here so much. Man. Alright, Captain's Log. Captain's Log. Mm. Yes. Captain's Log. After looking at my GPS locator, compared to where the original signal came from, it appears I touched down 21,638 miles off course from the original signal. And in fact, I have no real clue who I just aided and did that job for. However, I was paid handsomely, and I did help out, so I guess I did it good. Now, I'm going to follow the actual GPS coordinates and land at the correct site. Wish me luck. End of vlog. Huh, <sighs> end of vlog. Hmm. Ah, oh, God, this coffee will be one wild morning. Hmm. Oh, it's evening? Oh, shit. I'm not afraid to use this to defend my home and my family. But you sure as hell don't look like any spacer I've seen before. I'm not sure I understand. So first, I'm just a guy in a spacesuit, okay? Maybe, and you're a guy in a spacesuit. So maybe yours has different bells and whistles than mine. But they basically look the same, right? Also, I'm an ex-bounty hunter. I've seen spacers, okay? They're just scavengers run by the desperate and criminals, okay? And run's not even the right term, because they're just like a hobo, okay? It's not a group or an organization. It just stands for somebody that p possibly, potentially could rob Maine or kill you. The spacer part. Not really necessarily the hobo part. All spacers care about is getting your loot. And if you get in their way, they have no problem hurting you or killing you. But now, look at how I'm dressed. And look behind me, okay? I'm in a purple and mostly good condition spaceship. I'm also talking to you. I could have blasted you as I did a flyby, and you would be dead right now. Instead, you're pointing your devil-damned gun at me, asking me questions. Look, I came to answer your distress signal. If you were so worried about spacers, why are you blasting the damn signal to anyone? I was literally in orbit. Anyone could have picked that shit up. I didn't even, you're not even my first stop. I went somewhere else because I don't know how to read a freaking map. So what do you want from me? So let me get this straight. You heard a distress call and you flew all the way down here. What are you, some sort of priest or good Samaritan? I didn't know people like you were real, but I got a heap load of problems. And I'm willing to pay my share for the help. Okay, first off, I don't know how to unpack all that you just said, but I'm just going to say, I'm taking it you don't get help that often. However, I'm still confused why you are blasting a distress signal. Then you act surprised that somebody came to answer your call. Regardless, I'm here and I used fuel to make it here. So this has already cost me money. Well, technically it cost my crew member coal money, but he's loaded, so I don't even feel bad. But that's beside the point. What is the point is I'm gonna need you to stop jerking me off and tell me what you need me to do, besides saying you have a, a heap load of problems. Just know that you better have a heap load of credits coming my way for each problem I'm about to fix. I don't know what game you're playing. It's called Starfield. And if that's not what you were talking about, I'm in the money-making business. So, that's what game I'm playing. I'm here for some credits. Used to be four families that list help set up stakes in this system. We rarely saw eye to eye in the best of times. And believe me, True, these ain't the best of times. Spacer started raiding, and it's been getting worse. Only a matter of time before they end us all. <laughs> Unless you're willing to help some hard-working, pig-headed settlers out. Look at here, you pig-headed, monkey-brained butt-munch. Tell me what you want me to do. Really? You say that like you're offended, but you're smiling at me. I had no idea. What? Dude, just tell me what you want me to do. The spacers have taken out the family's list satellites, so we can't even talk to each other. Isolate and eliminate a classic tale. 
You fix the Lopez satellite, and I'll open a secure channel, and we can sync up and get the lay of the land. And then get all of our satellites operational. Well, I don't know how good I am at repairing a satellite, but you know what? I do have a engineering specialist. Her name's Olga uh, Salvador. I'm going to make sure she, at the chair, at the helm, she repairs it for you. So yeah, you bring the money, we'll get this fixed for you. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm just going to pop up into outer space, find your satellite, and fix it. Alright? So you go make my credits nice and comfortable and have them waiting for me. Okay? You cool with that? Thanks. It might be I'm getting caught up in the moment. But I actually feel <laughs> optimistic for once. Thanks. As long as that optimism is being used to go get my uh, credits why I get this done for you. The satellites are pretty durable. It should be easy as cake to repair them. Hey, Captain. We have three ships heading towards us in attack pattern. Thank you, Olga. Listen up, crew. It's time we all do our best. And what I mean by this is I need everyone strapped into their stations if you have one. Help load, fix, charge, fire. Every defense, use it. Every offense, we can't hold anything back. This is life or death, people. All right. Look alive, crew. Okay, got that one real good. You're going down. No, you're going down. That is if I can even target you and shoot you. Gosh, get back here. Taking heavy damage to the hull. Could you hurry this up and maybe try killing them before they blow us up? I mean, thank you, Olga. I am trying very hard. Aren't you, though, the one in control of the ballistic systems? If it wasn't under my understanding, you haven't fired one damn time. Well, it's like this, Captain. You promised to pay me, if my memory serves me correct, 5% of all collected earnings, and that hasn't happened yet, so maybe you can learn to start sharing more. And maybe I will start helping out more around the place. Maybe a hard-working girl as myself needed to sell the ballistics ammunition to cover the costs of your lack of respect and honest wages. Olga, don't you dare tell me that you stripped the ammunition out of the ship under our noses and sewed it to line your own pockets? Oh, if we make it out of here alive, you're going to talk good and well about what you will and won't do on my ship. I can't believe you. We might die because you sold the damn ammo out of the damn mother fudging ship. Captain, with all due respect, kiss my ass, sir. Of all the people I've met, you are one of the worst I have ever worked with, and I have known some real douchebags. So, quit your yellow belly bitching and grow a pair of balls and fucking blow these guys up with the ammo I didn't sell. Sir? That mouth of yours is gonna get you into trouble, Olga. So, now that the spacers are dead, I'm gonna need you to earn your paycheck when I dock with the satellite. I'm expecting you to hack it, or fix it, or whatever it is you need to do. And if a spacewalk is needed, guess who volunteered her happy ass to do it? Go on, take a guess, Olga. Happy to help, sir. Can't wait to volunteer. Fucking prick. Hey, I heard that. Attention crew, we have arrived at the satellite where Olga is going to be running all repairs and what's not on the hunk of floating metal. If anyone needs me, I will be locking myself in the helm 
and taking a good 30 to an hour nap while repairs are made. Please do not disturb me. You also can feel free to take this time to relax. Maybe, uh, well, maybe don't relax too much. If anybody wants to, like, monitor the long-range scanners, make sure no more spacers are on the way. That is all. This has been your captain, signing out. still here? Hey, so, uh, thanks for floating with me down my stream. You, you don't know how much it means to me. You just be in here. You are a beautiful spud. I don't care what anybody tells you. Just know that what I tell you is true. I know I'm known for being a bullshitter, but I wouldn't lie about that. Now look, I just want you to know that if you've made it this far, could you give me a like? Maybe give me, I don't know, um, a thumbs up? You know? Oh, that's the same thing? My bad. I don't know how this works. <laughs> yeah, I do. But, uh, yeah, um, I don't know. If you haven't subscribed to me, you should do that. Um, look, we can keep this platonic if you want, but I want to be more. I'd love to be up on your subscription wall. So, uh, if you're ready, let's move to the next step. If not, hey, I'll back off. Whoa, I'm so sorry, stranger danger. <laughs> Didn't mean that. So, uh, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this. And, uh, all I can say is I enjoyed it. I enjoyed everyone who floated with me down the stream. And I'm just gonna be honest, no one knows how much fun we had, right? <laughs> Well, anywho, uh, you beautiful spud, I hope you have a great day. I mean that. No, I don't. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Later.